Hey guys, Mike Hanna here. I'm doing a video update on my Slinky antenna. It worked out great on field day, but I put the videos on YouTube, Facebook, all the social media crap, and I got a lot of feedback, some good suggestions. So I'm gonna make a few changes on it, and I've got another idea that I came up with about using a tape measure as a counterpoise. Easy out, easy in, so it should be pretty cool. So let's get to it. Okay guys, here is the slinky antenna. It performed excellent at field day. But anyway, the changes I am going to make, these little eyelets going into the board here aren't the most secure. And whenever I set the uh, antenna up, this has a chance of sliding out. So what the deal is, I am going to move the hinge down here up. So whenever the front sets up, this is actually going to sit down on this board and the eyelets are going to go down in this way. And for the counterpoise off the 9 to 1 that connects here, it is going to run a wire down to the bottom which is going to connect to this guy. I'm going to cut the end of it off and sand the end of it if I can get it out here. I'm going to take this off, sand the paint off of it, and put a uh, ring wire terminal connector on it. And this is actually going to be the counterpoise. So whenever you get set up, instead of having to unroll wire or whatever you usually do, grab the tape measure, string it out. You can calculate the length just by the measurement on it, and you'll be ready to go in seconds. So let's get set up and get started. All right, guys, I got the antenna set up here, and I'm going to kind of speed through this. But anyway, I'm going to move this hinge. I'm just going to unscrew these three screws and move it down here maybe six inches. So let's speed through it real quick. Okay, that was pretty simple. Uh, like I said before, we move the eyelets, move the hooks, move the hinge. Now there's no chance of the pole sliding out, hitting the ground, whatever, whenever you set the antenna up and these are probably a little bit more secure. There is still plenty of room to drive your vehicle up on and set it up on there, sandbag, stand on, <laughs> whatever you need to do. But now we need to start working on the tape measure counterpoise. So let me get the Dremel and the drill and we'll get started. Okay, I've got the Dremel out and this little Tech Life set for the Dremel that I bought on Amazon. No, it's not sponsored or anything, but uh, I bought this kit and it seems to have quite a few tools in it. It's came in pretty handy. It's got all sorts of bits for it, but I can put the link in the description below. Uh, the Dremel, my beautiful, beautiful wife bought me for something. My birthday, I think. But anyway, this is her. Like I said, beautiful. But anyway, uh, let me get you set up on the tripod and we'll get started on this tape measure. All right, guys, that was kind of fun, actually. <laughs> we got the end of the tape measure, the rivets. We've got those drilled out, and we have got all the paint taken off the end of the tape measure. So now we need to get ourselves a ring terminal and get it soldered on. So let's get to that. Okay, we have got a wire ring terminal. So what the plan is is I'm going to flatten this out 
and once I get it flattened out, we'll be able to solder it right here on this guy, so let's give this a shot. Alright guys, I have got my Dremel soldering iron. It runs on butane. I really like this guy for whenever I've only got one thing to do or whatever. It makes it really easy to just grab this out of the box and light it up and start going. So we're going to use this guy, a little bit of solder, and I'm going to hold everything in place with a set of alligator clips. So let's give this a shot. Well, I thought I had had it soldered onto there, but apparently it did not stick. I had the tape hot enough to melt the solder. I don't know if it just wasn't making good enough contact or not. I'm sure somebody will tell me. But anyway, what I am going to do now, being that is such a pain in the butt, I am going to try to put a piece of wire on it and then put the ring terminal on the wire. So let me do that. I'm not going to film it, I'm just going to do it and then I'll be back with you. Alrighty, I'm back. I absolutely could not get that ring terminal to solder on, so I decided to try a piece of wire and the wire went on there fairly easily. So I went ahead and, while I was off camera, wrapped the edge because it's kind of sharp. I went ahead and wrapped it in tape, but this wire is connected to the edge of the tape very well it's not gonna go anywhere but let me sit you down here and i will show you the continuity test Alrighty, if you guys can see the screen i've got it set up so it'll let out an audible tone but we can go ahead and stick the probe into this side and bins i don't have I don't want to scrape the tape off of but we can just go to the body of the tape measure bins. it's metal. And you can see that we've got continuity there so let's go ahead and trim this wire down and put the ring terminal on here and we'll continue on. Okay, I've got some shrink tubing here. Cut a little piece of that off and we will cut this guy off right about here. That way it, it doesn't matter because it's in inches, but it'll be true three, two, one, and where the ring terminal connects will actually be an accurate measurement. Hmm. Not gonna be able to use that long of a piece of shrink tubing. Maybe a smaller piece will. Maybe we can get this all in there. And I think we're going to be in good shape. The tape also helps. That way, if this does happen to come off, that the tape won't spill spool up inside the tape measure itself and go haywire but yeah there we go 
think we're ready to go ahead and get this guy put in place. Okay, I went ahead and decided to not mount this any other way. This, I went ahead and hooked up to the counterpoise side of my 9 to 1, and the wire is actually holding pretty well. It's not going to go anywhere. But I wanted to do some testing on this first to make sure that it's actually going to work. I think it will. It should. But we're going to test it out. Maybe we'll do a Parks on the Air activation and try it out there and see how it actually works before we mount this or make a holder for it or whatever but yeah that will definitely speed up setting up the antenna now i've just got to unfold it put the hooks coax and the counterpoise will come out however long i want it to be five foot up to 25 foot laying on the ground whenever i'm done just let it coil back up and there we go well, that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed the update video on my slinky antenna. The tape measure counterpoise, I really hope it works. It's kind of cool. It should, instead of having to uncoil a wire, string it out, whatever, I should just be able to grab that tape measure, string it out. I'll probably use the full length of the tape measure up to 25 feet, lay it on the ground. That should be it. I'm not sure it'll work. I hope it does, but maybe the next video will be me and my buddy KD9KEG, Keg, the beer drinker, doing a park activation or something. We'll give it a test and see how it works out. But anyway, until next time, 7-3.